Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. The purpose of human life is to serve, and to show compassion and the will to help others. At times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us. Do something wonderful, people may imitate it. I don't know what your destiny will be, but one thing I know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who will have sought and found how to serve. Sometimes our light goes out but is blown into flame by another human being. Each of us owes deepest thanks to those who have rekindled this light. Example is leadership. Constant kindness can accomplish much. As the sun makes ice melt, kindness causes misunderstanding, mistrust, and hostility to evaporate. Example is not the main thing in influencing others. It is the only thing. The African is my brother but he is my younger brother by several centuries. The only ones among you who will be really happy are those who will have sought and found how to serve. My life is my argument. Think occasionally of the suffering of which you spare yourself the sight. Man is a clever animal who behaves like an imbecile. Man has lost the capacity to foresee and to forestall. He will end by destroying the earth. Wherever a man turns he can find someone who needs him. Life becomes harder for us when we live for others, but it also becomes richer and happier. A man can do only what he can do, but if he does that each day he can sleep at night and do it again the next day. Ethics is the activity of man directed to secure the inner perfection of his own personality. A man is ethical only when life, as such, is sacred to him, that of plants and animals as that of his fellow men, and when he devotes himself helpfully to all life that is in need of help. Anyone who proposes to do good must not expect people to roll stones out of his way, but must accept his lot calmly, even if they roll a few stones upon it. Reverence for life is the highest court of appeal. Do something for somebody every day for which you do not get paid. Humanitarianism consists in never sacrificing a human being to a purpose. By respect for life we become religious in a way that is elementary, profound and alive. Impart as much as you can of your spiritual being to those who are on the road with you, and accept as something precious what comes back to you from them. One truth stands firm. All that happens in world history rests on something spiritual. If the spiritual is strong, it creates world history. If it is weak, it suffers world history. One thing I know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who will have sought and found how to serve. As soon as man does not take his existence for granted, but beholds it as something unfathomably mysterious, thought begins. Reverence for life affords me my fundamental principle of morality. I wanted to be a doctor, that I might be able to work without having to talk, because for years I had been giving myself out in words. The great secret of success is to go through life as a man who never gets used up. The highest proof of the spirit is love. Love the eternal thing which can already on earth possess as it really is. I have always held firmly to the thought, that each one of us can do a little to bring some portion of misery to an end. A great secret of success is to go through life as a man who never gets used up. Just as the wave cannot exist for itself, but is ever a part of the heaving surface of the ocean, so must I never live my life for itself, but always in the experience which is going on around me. In everyone's life, at some time, our inner fire goes out. It is then burst into flame by an encounter with another human being. We should all be thankful for those people who rekindle the inner spirit. Happiness is nothing more than good health and a bad memory. 
The first step in the evolution of ethics is a sense of solidarity with other human beings. One who gains strength by overcoming obstacles possesses the only strength which can overcome adversity.